Okay, so we're going to do some live trace. I'm going to begin by placing an image that is strictly line art. And I'm going to go to Window and Image Trace, and it brings up a dialog box. Now, yours might not look this way because you do have to click on Advanced to get all these other um, options. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in here so we can really see what's happening. And we're going to preview. And you can see we lost a lot of the detail there. So first thing I'm going to do is take out the noise. And you see we get a lot more detail doing that. And then I'm going to increase the threshold. And we get even more detail. Let's see. And I'm going to move this until I get the detail I want. And let's see what we can do with the path here. And corners, less corners. And I'm going to play with these until I get it the way I'd like it. Oh, that's not good at all. Let's go higher here. Oh, that's much better. In fact, it seems the higher we go on the path, the better it gets. So this looks pretty good to me. So um, I'll accept that and click off the side here. Let's see. <clears throat> and expand up here. Okay, control zero, and we've got our image. And you can see now that raster art was made into vector art. Now, this is all um, grouped right now. So what I'm going to do is with my black selection tool, I can you know, just choose the white here for the background. Okay, looks like I've got it all. And I can go ahead and choose one of these black pieces here and go to Select, Same, Fill Color, and I'll choose all the black. And then I can go to my swatches and change the color change to it. Oh, let's do green. Yeah, there we go. All right. So there you have it. Um, tracing art, black and white art with the trace tool. Bye now.